Hi guys, I'm Ash. I'm back again for your daily workout. See, so you've done the lower body, you've done the upper body. We did the full body, it was a, a beast. But now we're going to do them abs. We're going to concentrate on that core. So what I mean by core is we're not just going to go through reps and do hurt our neck. We're going to concentrate on that core and when we're engaging it, you've got to feel their muscles work. So, like we said before, make sure you're stretched off and you're nice and warm. Make sure you've got your bottle of water close by. And now we're going to do is four exercises as we've done similar days. With if you're a beginner, you're doing two sets. If you're an advanced and uh, more intermediate, you do four sets. If you're advanced, you do six sets. So let's get into those four exercises. Starting off with the beginners, and then going into the advanced. So first exercise we've got is leg raises. So all we're going to do with this uh, ab workout is make sure we've got a nice soft surface to support our back. Make sure we're onto a little bit of concrete. So what I want to do is get nice and level on our back, nice and down. Neck's got to be nice and loose. We don't be hurting that neck. If you do have a bad back, a bad lower back, you can put your hands behind your back. Support that arch. If you've got a pillow, you can use that as well. I don't have a bad back, so I'm going to put my hands to the side. For the beginners, what we're going to do is bring one leg up, we are doing leg raises, then we bring it down. We hold it for a little bit, as we bring it down a touch, then we switch leg. And as you bring it down, you see that little hole there? And, bring, and there's that touch. That's just going to engage our core. It's going to help us build up. For those more advanced, we're going to bring our leg up. You want to get as high as you can without bending that knee. Don't bring it over here. High as you can. Bring that second leg up together. Then bring it down. Hold it just a little bit off the ground. Then bring that second one there. Make sure we're looking straight to the air. Straight in front of you. And bringing it down. We'd all be twisting our neck and watching TV and hurting ourselves, so make sure you've got the TV in the right place. So that's our first exercise. Our second exercise. For those beginners who can't get down, we're gonna do an elbow to knee. Standing up, so bring it nice and tight. My back is nice and straight as I do this. So I'm bringing nice and in line with the body. Bring it up, feel that core, tense that core. For those more, more advanced, stay on the ground. Or if you want to stay on the ground for the beginners, you just bring one leg up, you bring it down. One leg up, bring it down. And then like I say, the advance, we're not bringing them legs up. You've got to get that leg all the way out. If you get that leg all the way out, we're going to hit that bottom of the core. If you're resting here, going real quick, the bottom of the core is resting. So you need to bring it all the way out, get that engaged. So bringing it up, nice and light. Breathe it out. That's our second exercise. So our third exercise. Now we've been on our backs, we've had a core that way, we're going to engage that back as well as the middle of the, as well as our abs. So we're going to do a plank. It's not going to be any plank, it's going to be a plank jack. So our arms and hands need to be in line with our shoulders. Shoulder width apart. If you have got bad wrists and you want to hold on to, put a cushion down there and get something on your hands or even go into, <laughs> we can get down onto the ground this way. And what are you going to do? is you're going to step it out. Like I said before, we ain't no disco feet. I don't want to see baby steps. I know I can't see out there, but I'll know. So make sure you get them nice big steps, shoulder width apart. So that's more for the intermediate, and for the advanced, you're going to jack it out. And if you've got it, make sure your shoulder's nice and steady, and you're keeping that back nice and straight. You can put the arms at the same time, so you can do it once. I'll just demo it real quick. My wrists are okay, so I can put that pressure on there. Intermediate, advanced, and if you've got it, you can keep that back straight, you can add the arms. What you don't want to be doing is dropping them hips. This is not a plank jack, okay? That's you're going to get hurt and I'm not going to see you tomorrow. And finally, for our final exercise, we've got Spider-Man crunches. So we're staying in that position there. Shoulders and hip, uh, wrists are in line. We're going to bring that knee up to the elbow on each side. And for, that's for the beginners. You can rest that leg there, bring it up. Make sure you get a nice and high, your back is straight on each side. For the more advanced, you put your legs down, you bring it up. And if your upper body is still feeling nice and fresh, you can add that push up and really bring it down and push it up. That's our four exercises for today. Let me know how you get on. Comment below if you like it. Give me a thumbs up, give me a share. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe.